along with the Houston Astros finally winning a World Series, one of my favorite things about 2017 was discovering the band Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz is a rock band. I believe they're from Sweden, but not 100% on that. In 2013, Santa Cruz released their debut album, Screaming for Adrenaline. Yeah! This is a pretty cool album. It's got a sound that's kind of like a mix of the first Skid Row album, along with Appetite for Destruction, Guns N' Roses, mixed in with a little bit of Dawkins here and there, and maybe another influence or two. It sounds very much at home with that 80s style rock minus the keyboards and the sappy ballads. So if you can kind of think some of the better aspects of 80s rock, that's what you're looking at with this album. Yet the band still manages to have their own sound and style along with it. It's just that their style in this album tends to fit really well with that style from the 80s. The production is solid and the band sounds great. Everyone does their jobs pretty nicely. I think the standouts on here would be the guitar players. I think they're very solid. Before we get to the tracks, I just want to say holy shit. I gave the first three or four songs on this album and then the first three or four songs on their second album a listen on YouTube. And after hearing that, that was all I needed to hear. I went to Amazon and bought the MP3s of both of those albums without having even heard the entire albums. And I'm not regretting that decision at all. Spoiler alert, I do like this album a lot, even though I sound tired in this review. Screaming for Adrenaline opens this album up with a nice high energy, fast paced song. It's really cool and definitely one of the standout tracks. Anthem for the Young and Restless is next. It's a little bit slower, kind of more groovy. It's got a nice pacing to it, it's still up tempo. I really like the chorus on this song a lot. The verses are really good too. I guess I could have just said the whole song is good, but whatever. It's a kick-ass tune. Relentless Renegades is next, and this is yet another kick-ass tune. It's mostly pretty fast-paced. The chorus slows down a little bit, which I wasn't a big fan of at first, but as I really got to get to know the song, it managed to work for me. It's got a nice groove to it. So it's kind of a mix of up-tempo, fast-paced, and slower, more groovy, laden style, if that made any sense. But overall, the song comes together really nicely. This album gets off to a really good start with three really kick-ass songs. One thing I can say about this album is it's extremely consistent. There's not a terrible song on here. The songs range from being excellent to okay. So overall, you know you're going to end up with a solid album here. Sweet Sensation is next, and this is the track that made me add Doc into the list of bands that this album reminds me of a little bit. This one almost sounds straight out of Dawkins' playbook. One of their more mellow tunes without being a ballad. It's got kind of a softer verse. I wouldn't call this a ballad, but it's still got kind of a softer verse with a little bit heavier chorus, a lot of melody. It's pretty good. It's not one of my favorite songs on here, but it's not too bad. Nothing Compares to You has an interesting sound. It mixes some electric guitar with some acoustic guitar, kind of playing over top of each other. It's got kind of an interesting little melody. I do like the chorus to it, and I like the pacing. It just has a little bit of a different sound to it, which I think is pretty cool. High on You is next, and this one also has a little bit of a different pacing, different style compared to most of the album. It's pretty good. It seems like it's more drum-based. The beat definitely drives this song. The chorus isn't ultra complicated, but it doesn't need to be, and the song is overall... A pretty solid track. Let's Get the Party Started kicks the album back into high gear, throwing back to the first three tracks. This one's a high energy rocker with a good chorus. Alive is next. It's a decent mid-tempo rocker. This, it's an okay song. There's a part where he's going shut up, shut up, shut up quite a bit, and it, that part drags on a little bit. I could have dealt without that, but other than that, the song is pretty good. Loving You is Just for Playing is next. I always remember the line in this song where he talks about some girl being some sugar daddy's trophy wife. It's an okay song. For something about the chorus when they do that as the intro to the song kind of bugs me a little bit. It doesn't once you get into the song and it's used as the chorus, but something about it at the beginning just kind of bothers me a little bit. I'm not really quite sure what it is, but it's an okay song. It's not one of my favorites, but it's still pretty decent. 
Aiming High is really the last song on here that I really absolutely love. I put this alongside the first three tracks on this album as the four songs that I absolutely love and couldn't live without. This song is great. It's another high energy rocker. Just kick you in the face. Hard nosed rock song. It's really good. I like this one a lot. Let Me Lay My Love On You is the last track. I honestly don't remember this song. It's not a terrible track by any means. You'd think after all the times that I listened to this album back in October and November of last year that I remember it a little bit better than I do, but it's a little bit forgettable. It's not terrible by any means, but it's not a standout for me. So overall, with Santa Cruz's first album, you end up with a well-produced album with a good, solid, old-school hard rock sound with something a little bit more modern about it. You've got a lot of consistent tracks here, some ranging from four songs that I absolutely love to about three or four more that I like quite a bit to a few more that are just okay. But either way, this is an album that you can put in and listen front to back without having to skip anything. I'm going to give this album a solid 8 out of 10. I think it's really good. It's a really nice start to this band's career and Definitely ranks amongst my favorite albums of this decade. I'm not sure where it would rank on that list. If I made a top 25 albums of the decade, this album definitely makes it on there, though. It's a very solid album and one that you should definitely check out if you're a fan of good old-school hard rock.